What up YouTube and welcome back to another video here today and today we have a very special unboxing here today Today we have the Fear of God Aero 95 DX Red Corduroy I'm super 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 excited to unbox this and show you guys what I got And you know just to break it down for you guys if you guys have not seen this shoe or are looking forward to buy it But I recommend you guys stick around but also guys don't forget to subscribe and like the video The support has been really 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 great I've been like climbing here and there you know slowly progressing up to the top and you know we have 30 subscribers by now that i just saw 30 subscribers guys and that's just that's just like really really crazy and uh, uh thank you guys and i hope you guys are enjoying this content also guys what i'm planning to do is break this fear of god bands uh shoe um unboxing review type of you know series into minis into mini uh videos because um you know i'm trying i'm still trying to like cop the shoes here and there and Stock X takes forever and GOAT takes forever. So I'm still trying to get the shoes here and there. So we're going to break it down to like a little mini series for you guys. And today we have the Vans Aero 95 DX, which I'm going to show you guys. But without further ado, let's get into this unboxing. So bam, we have the Vans Aero 95 DX right here. Size 10. We have like, you know, that little stamp that, you know, Paxan always puts on, on their Fear of God shoes. 100 and... Oh. Whoa, 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 I can't even, I can't even say the number anymore. I'm out of school already. I'm not even thinking about school. I'm on Christmas break and, you know, finals has like hurt me, but let's get back on track. This is a thousand, um, 87, you know, my head, my head's not, not where it's at right now, but bam, right here we have a size 10. I did purchase these on StockX. Unfortunately, I'm kind of disappointed. Um, they take forever, like go. And you know, StockX is located in Detroit. I'm in LA. I'm, it's more convenient to use GOAT, but GOAT has a little bit higher prices than StockX, so I went with StockX. And the box came damaged. Look at this. Look at this. It looks like its neck is like shivering up and it, and it looks like it's getting cold. The box is getting cold and it doesn't look nice. Doesn't look nice. And you know, eh. But yeah, that's not gonna stop us from liking the shoe. That's like one little less thing to worry about, but it is, you know, if you guys wanna resell it, it's gonna like kinda look bad on you and the price is gonna go low a little bit because of the shriveled. But whatever, you know, it is what it is. It's just a regular Vans, Vans, bo Vans, Vans box, you know, nothing too special. It would've been dope if like Jerry like, you know, made his own box, but uh, you know, we'll stick with it. Uh, so I'm gonna cover this box and show you guys, bam, right off the bat, we see them right there. Oh, dang. We see the shoes right there. Woo! These are these are gonna burn the camera off because these are fire. So let me take them off the box so I can show you guys a little bit more of a better view of these beautiful looking shoes. But bam, guys, this is what it is: the Vans Era 95 DX Woo -hoo -hoo. and red corduroy. Look at that. Right now on camera, you see like a bright red, but in person, it's like a dark reddish color, and it's pretty pretty dope. I thought it was gonna be like too light of a red, but in person, it's way better looking. It is good looking on the camera as well, you know. I spent too much money on the camera for it to not look good, so the camera better do its justice. But um, yeah, it's a really, really, really nice looking shoe. You guys need your lint rollers just in case you can start getting linty on the on the shoe. So you know, that's another thing that you need to add on to this shoe. Get your lint roller so you can get all the lint off once you wear it once or twice. I, unfortunately, I have not worn the shoe. I do plan to wear it uh, sometime in the future. So we have corduroy and two different sections. We have it in the front and then we have it in the back. As you guys can see, it's really nice corduroy. Really, you know, not cheap corduroy, but really nice. And like I said, you need your lint roller with corduroy because, you know, lint starts to um, go on the shoe. And that's not really good. It's going to make it look all nasty. On the tongue, it's suede, uh, not corduroy. So if you guys were like thinking that it was, it, it's not. Um, also, we have the Fear God print in black and white. I think it's like a inverted. It's like the inverted version of like the Vans era, of the first one that came out in 2016, and it's pretty dope. I like this, um, you know, style a little bit better than the other one. I didn't like it at first, but I got used to it. And I think I like this one better because it stands out a little bit more than the other one, in my opinion. And like I said, I did get it in Stock X, but it says it's very verified, so you know, we ain't messing with that foo foo. It also comes with three different laces. We do. It does come with like the white laces on the shoe. We also have like some other white ones, just in case the other white ones get dirty. And we do have some black ones. The black ones that are calling my name. I do want to try the black ones on the shoe, but I'm not too sure because I think that's gonna mess up the shoe. Not gonna really make it stand out like the white laces are. In the back, we do have like that red tab bands off the wall. And inside the shoe, we do have that leather stitch, stitch leather with the sole. It's a really nice detail, you know. 
you know, it, it, it's dope, it's cool, but, um, you know, it gets dirty fast. It gets really dirty fast when you wear black socks, Unless, and especially when your feet are really sweaty like mine, and you wear black socks. Um, they're going to start to get stained, but now I started wearing white socks, so uh, it, it helps with it, you know, not getting them dirty so fast. Um, we do have the tag inside as well, for size 10 right there, the Fear of God tag, Fear of God 2017, and then you flip it over, the same thing it says. And then also on the bottoms, you know, I, I like that Jerry went with like the gum bottoms because like that white, you know, that white bottoms, uh, you know, not too great because they get dirty really quick and these ones you can't really tell, so, you know, these are the way to go, classic, you know you know, waffle for the bands, and these are just, you know, the way to go. Also on the bottom, you know, as you guys can see, like, the, you know, the, the sole kind of overlaps, you know, onto the shoe, which is like kind of like an old style version, and that's what makes it, you know, like, you know, the, you know, unique, like, that's why it's a DX version, because it starts to, like, overlap a little bit, um, but yeah, overall, you know, just a dope, dope shoe. I hope you guys picked up your pair, because right now they're going for, like, 300, 350, and, you know, if you guys have some good good shoes to trade for these like I recommend you guys do before the prices start to go up like in a couple of months I'm pretty sure they will like the other eras but um, pick them up before they start to go up again because you know it's a, it's a shoe that you don't want to miss out and then end up regretting that you didn't not you did not get because this is a really good looking shoe uh, as well as the other fear of God shoes so go get them before you know prices start to like you know pick up that's my video for today guys don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you guys want to see more content but i'll see you guys in the next video i'll catch you guys later peace out bye guys